Hello and welcome back to my channel. This is episode three of Missing Parts Monday. In this episode, I'll be welding on the little bosses for the index and the pinky onto my new socket. So let's get started. In my 25 years or so of being a machinist, I rely on using a four-jaw chuck for the majority of my work holding for the lathe. It wasn't until I started working on super tiny parts that I made the investment of purchasing a 5C collet chuck. Good ones are kind of expensive, but definitely worth the coin. For even smaller work that I'll show you later on in the project, I mounted a 3 quarter inch straight shank ER16 collet holder in the 5C and it allows me to go all the way down to a 32nd inch diameter. The material that I'm using for this part of the project is half inch ground and polished 304 stainless steel. It's kind of tough and gummy to machine after it's been welded, but it matches the alloy that I used for the body of the socket. Okay, so the first thing that we need to do is determine the position of where those bosses need to be. Okay, so we're going to double check this. Okay, that looks about right. That looks about right. That looks about right on both top and bottom. And that looks about right. So something that we need to be sure of is that when the finger comes around and curls, we need to make sure that they don't end up touching the other fingers. We'll mark top. I'll mark the bottom. So top's marked, bottom's marked. So and this is super important because it forms the basis of everything we're doing from here. Okay, so center of one boss, center of the other boss, center, center, top and bottom. I'm using an ER32 collet block to hold onto the bosses that I just welded onto so that I can drill through the band of the socket and have everything line up so that I can run a tap through it in just a bit. Now that I have the holes bored, I need to determine the placement of the middle and ring fingers. I do that by zeroing on one of the bosses, traversing to the other, taking that dimension, dividing by three. That gives me four equally spaced points. And I'll do this for both the top and the bottom. Now that all the holes are drilled, I'll switch tools to a quarter inch carbide end mill and plunge mill the excess of the bosses from the palm side of the socket. I plunge mill these parts because it allows for a high rate of material removal. Then I finish by planar milling the surfaces parallel with each other. Okay, so what that does, that gives us two, two planes that are flat in two axes. Okay, so what I'm going to do from here is I'm going to flip it, I'm going to tap those, and then flip them over, and then bolt them from the underside to a block that I'm going to then stick on parallels in the vise. And then I'll be able to machine the top of that, and then everything will be parallel to each other, both the inside ones and the outside ones. So, let's get started. Awesome. 
Well, that's all I have for this episode. In the next episode, I'll be working on the little plates that go to the metacarpal bases so that we can get the fingers started. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching.